Hey guys, welcome back to the Ransom's Yard. This, or rather, these, are my new 2005 Ford 350s. I picked them up off the buy and sell over the winter. So this first one is a four wheel drive model. And the other one is just a two wheel drive flat deck model. They're both equipped with the eight cylinder gas engine and the five speed manual transmission with low gear and rear locking diff. So this dark green one I picked up for $5,000. I guess it had an encounter with a rock at some point so it has a bit of a wrinkle in that door and some chipping on the paint. Other than that it has only 98,000 kilometers on it so basically brand new. Uh, I've put some new tires all around as the other ones were completely weather cracked and didn't pass inspection and I guess I thought it was kind of a steal but Turned out the front pinion was busted. So my mechanic found out that it was easier to replace the entire front axle rather than sourcing a new pinion, which we did. And now I'm left with a truck that's in perfect condition, but I can't drive it because there's no deck on the back. This brings us to the second truck that I picked up from the buy and sell. And this one I paid $1,000. Um, it used to be a delivery truck for a local hardware store and they parked it because this one just didn't run right and they bought a new truck anyways. So this truck has always been extremely well maintained. Uh, it has a bit higher mileage on it but it's always been very well cared for, it's super clean, has new brakes all around. Um, the re rear tires are pretty worn out but I wasn't too worried about that. So I originally wanted to just take the deck off of it, but then I figured might as well bring it to inspection as well and see what it needs. So it came back with everything on the body and frame is perfect. The only issue is that it has a serious um, cam issue. According to the engine codes, it's a cam phaser issue. I looked into it a little bit. It turns out that it's a pretty common issue with these Fords and just the parts to get that fixed would put me over <laughs> what I paid for it. But it, it doesn't really matter because I'm only after the deck and I got prices made for like for steel and wood to build a new deck and this one is cheaper. So we're going to use this one, uh, probably cut it down in length a little bit because I don't really don't need like a 12 foot deck on a truck. I'll cut it down to nine and after that I'll have a great condition parts truck. Hey, why not? Might do some projects with it. So today what I'm going to do is get starting on the disassembly, starting with removing that toolbox, and then I might get to the U-bolts to actually take the deck off. Let's get to it. Okay. So, take this off of here. There's two bolts there, two bolts on the other side, and then we should be able to slide this toolbox out of there. Oh, there's one and two. Now the other two are going to be a bit tricky because I'll have to reach all the way in. So what I'm trying to do is when you pull the lever, this tab is supposed to move back. But it seems to be seized on the other one. So I'm going to try to put the, the chisel in here and force it back a little bit. There we go.
for them. Now we'll be able to cut those brackets out of here because the parking brake cables run through them. And then I'll undo the U-bolts and we should be able to pick up the deck with the tractor. This is where we got to yesterday with the welding. So the deck is now cut to length and we've done the back rack for it. Today what I'm going to do is lift the back part back up and try to sort out all that wiring. After that I'll give it a bit of paint and I'll be ready to install.
Ouais. Ok. Tu touches descends Ouais, laisse le descendre un peu pour le repousser par en avant. Bon, ben si tu es capable de le laisser descendre là. Hey guys, we just finished putting all the lights together this morning and now I get to go drive it on the road for the first time. Pretty excited. I guess this is the interior. The radio is out for the moment because we had to get in there. Um, we had to replace the flasher module to go with the LEDs. And now I'm also ordered myself a new radio as this one was the lowest trim possible so strictly only radio and the one I have I have ordered will now have Bluetooth and all that jazz so that's gonna be pretty cool well let's take it out for a drive and see how it goes I just got to my destination <laughs> about a half hour trip I did with the truck now it rides really well <laughs> It's so quiet. I guess I'm not used to driving things with proper mufflers anymore. <laughs> it's got plenty of power. I mean, I can't complain. I, I don't really have a load right now, so, you know, we'll see with a, a full load if that changes. Uh, I, I really like the manual transmission. And what's so nice, um, I guess if I can show you guys down here. There. there. Yeah. So, the, yeah, the stick is really long, as it would be for any truck. But... What's really nice is where it falls compared to, I guess, the armrest here. So my arm just naturally falls exactly in the right spot and it just clicks, you know, as it should. It's really, really, really nice. I'm definitely satisfied with, with this vehicle. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.